So the, the case study that I chose I think is a very interesting one because it highlights the third most common EGFR mutation that we see. And it's an interesting mutation because people present with it and they are resistant to the common EGFR tyrosine kinase inhibitors that we have. It's called an exon 20 insertion. So the, the key takeaways from, from my case are, are really important because again, it's the third most common EGFR mutation that a patient will present with when they're first tested for EGFR mutation. So the first most common would be an exon 19 uh, mutation, an exon 21 mutation. This is an exon 20 insertion. And when you send away for testing, sometimes you get a report that says that it's a, the patient's positive for an EGFR mutation. And you really have to look into that because I've had a few patients that report to me and they've been started on an EGFR TKI, but this is really a resistance mutation. Um, it's important to note that this mutation is still driving the patient's cancer, but none of the first and second generation and likely the third generation EGFR inhibitors are strong and potent enough uh, to inhibit this target. So it's really a target uh, in search of, of a drug to inhibit it. So again, the take home message is that you really have to look at the mutation report and uh, know a little bit about some of these de novo resistance mutations and um, consider clinical trials.